Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be having an introduction to the poem Daddy written by Sylvia Black. For understanding this poetry, it is very much important to understand the biography of Sylvia Black. Also, how her family had influenced her, the influence her father, her mother had upon her life. It is very much important to understand that, to understand the meaning of the poem that. Sylvia Plath was an American poet born in the year 1932. She started writing at the age of eight. She wrote her first poem at the age of eight and published it in her school magazine. It was during the same age that her father had passed away. Later in 1950, she got a scholarship to pursue her education in Smith College and also ended up with an internship as a guest editor at Mademoiselle. So when she was working as a guest editor in Mademoiselle, she got to experience that life and it became a plot for her novel, Belle Jar, which was published in the year 1963. So the experiences of being a guest editor was the plot line for that particular novel. While she was pursuing her education in Smith College, she did receive considerable artistic, academic and social success. But she also suffered from severe depression and even attempted suicide. Her first attempt of suicide was in the year 1953. When she recovered from that, she continued with her education and got an opportunity to study in Newham College under the University of Cambridge in England with a Fulbright Fellowship. It was in England that she met her later-to-be husband, Ted Hughes, and they got married in the year 1956. She did travel later. She did travel to uh, back to US and she did teach in Smith College for some time, but later she went back to England. The marriage between Ted Hughes and Sylvia Platt was not a happy one. They had troubles in their marriage, and it is even said that he was an he was an abusive person. He had multiple affairs as well. This led to their separation in the year 1962, and uh, uh, this led to her falling into depression, severe depression, and later even she committed suicide in the year 1963. So this age, the final depressive episode, which happened after her divorce from her husband, it is during this age that she engaged in writing a lot. And all these, all her popular poems, like including Daddy or Lady Lazarus, all these poems had come out posthumously in her collection titled as Ariel in 1965. So when she was going through the, this depressive episode, that is when she had written a lot. So this is about the biography of Sylvia Plath. Speaking about his parents, Otto Plath and Aurelia Plath, Otto Plath was a German immigrant who had migrated to uh, the US and was teaching biology at Boston University. He was also an entomologist. And uh, he, uh, while Sylvia Platt's brother was born in the year 1935, later part of that year, Otto Platt had become severely ill. And uh, he thought that he had self diagnosed it to be lung cancer. Uh, many years back, his friend had passed away because of cancer, and that had tormented him a lot. And when he was going through this illness, he also thought that he is having lung cancer. He had wrongly diagnosed it because later there was an infection that was spreading in his leg and he had to take, uh, go meet the doctor, get medical attention. And that is when he knew that he was suffering because of an extreme condition of diabetes. And because of the infection that was spreading in his leg, they had to amputate his leg, but that, that did not help him and he passed away because of this. Aurelia Plath, who was uh, Sylvia Plath's mother, was an American, and uh, she had married Otto Plath when he was also there in America. So this is about their parents. After Otto Plath had passed away, uh, Sylvia Plath and her brother were taken care of by her mother, and it is mentioned throughout, uh, you know, she in her interviews or in her writings that she has mentioned about the relationship with her mother. Her mother was uh, referred to as a controlling figure who manipulated and controlled her life a lot. She does talk about it in an interview. 
she gave with the BBC. And she also mentions that her mother had uh, restrained her or was not allowing her to go to go visit her father's grave. And she could only visit her father's grave when she had become an adult. So she was represented or presented as a controlling figure. Now, Otto Platt, it is mentioned that the poem Daddy is written about Otto Platt. And uh, we have to remember certain facts about Otto Platt while interpreting the poem Daddy. That is, he was... Uh, he was a German immigrant. He had a lot of affinity for Germany and especially Nazi. And uh, he had died when Sylvia Platt was at the age of eight. And he also had amputated his leg that led to his death. So these three facts are kind of referred or mentioned in the poem Daddy. Speaking about the style of writing, Sylvia Platt is known as a confessional writer means he, she belongs to the confessional school of poets confessional school of poetry is a literary movement that emerged in the mid of the 20th century between 1950s and 1960s now it is believed that or we can find that the writings of the confessional poets are dealing with a lot of autobiographical elements. They deal with their innermost thoughts, emotions, and experiences. And they are not ashamed of revealing their personal struggles or traumas or vulnerabilities that they are going through. And Sylvia Platt was also known for doing the same. Even the deepest of their secrets, they wouldn't be hesitant in revealing that in their poems. So Sylvia Platt belonged to one such school of writing. And other American writers who belong to the confessional school of poetry would be Robert Lowell, Lance Sexton, John Berryman, and W. D. Snodgrass. So she also engaged in this sort of writing. And another important thing that we can find in her writing is that her poetry sinks between a joyous positive and a despairing negative, which means when we consider her poems like Daddy or Lady Lazarus, there are certain negatives like uh, attempts of suicide or talking about death, how she is appreciating the idea of death, how she is craving for death. And also she is talking about certain positive things like how she wants to escape. Like, she, you know, she considers herself to be a phoenix who is emerging from the ashes or she is strong enough to, um, you know, stop all the abuses from haunting her memory. So that positive energy is also there as well as certain despairing negatives are also present. So her writings are a constant swing or a clash between both these ideas. Ending with one of her most famous quotes, famous lines from the poem Lady Lazarus, dying is an art like everything else and I do it exceptionally well. So these are uh, this particular line is from Lady Lazarus, one of the most important lines from the poem.